Simon Slaymaker for International Pop Science. I had the pleasure to be joined by Frank Smith. I mean, Frank, I'll just say to you off camera, squeaky bum time on Saturday, but we're here, Joshua Hellenius, you must be buzzing with this one, mate. Yeah, less than 24 hours away now. Uh, well, actually, more than that, but I'm not good at maths. Uh, ready to get going. You know, it's been a, it's been a long week. I'm glad we got it over the line because it's going to be a big show. We saw from the turnout today the size of Anthony Joshua shows, you know, the whole fight week as well. So excited to get going and uh, a good night tomorrow. Definitely. I mean, we've kind of obviously the Wilder fight in the horizon. It's kind of this the Joshua fight that you maybe have been most nervous for at all. Uh, look, I think he's got a lot of pressure. But every fight he has pressure on him. You know, he's had that his whole way throughout his career, um, being in the position he's in. But I think he's trained very hard. He always does. And he's ready to go tomorrow night. You know, Hellenius is going to come to fight. We know that. We saw the the face to face. He's not just come here for a payday. He's taken an opportunity where he believes he can change his life. But AJ's more than prepared and ready to go. Definitely, I was just saying to Eddie, I've heard kind of through the grapevine. This is the best Anthony's been looking at. Obviously, Franklin fight. Maybe maybe a little bit flat, but this time in preparation, he's been he's been quiet. Well, look, I think people he gets a hard talk. You know, AJ won every round against Franklin nearly. And people go, oh, you know, it's because we come to expect the knockouts. And, you know, hopefully we'll see that. But I think he's shown a lot of improvements with his new training team. That was his first fight with Derek James. And I think you're going to see another great performance from him on Saturday night. Hopefully we get a KO. It would be great to see. Perfect. I hope to see it all on the socials on Sunday morning. I do want to move on to kind of, obviously, I can remind you every time I see you, are the head, head promoter for Dimitri Bivol. Do we have any updates on when he can back out? I had a call last night actually with Adam, uh, Dimitri's manager. We're working through it now. He's obviously got a bit of time out with an injury, but we're, we're getting ready to go very soon. Um, so hopefully some big news soon. Perfect, I'm looking forward to that one. I do want to touch on some kind of pass bid related issues this week. Obviously the first one, kind of Fabio Wardley situation with um, David Adelaide. Is it likely that that fight can probably land with Queen's Green team? Possibly, possibly. There's still discussions ongoing. We've had a great relationship with Fabio. We'd love to carry that on, but let's see what happens. You know, it's always interesting on these uh, one-off fights. Would have been great to see a purse bid, but um, you know they're entertaining. The fans like them. They get talking about. It. Maybe the ball should start live streaming and moving forward. But let's see what happens on that. Like I say, we'd love to keep you know keep working with Fabio. Definitely. If, if the board see this international boxing news, and you'd, do this, you'd do this. You do this streaming. Pay me a little bit. It'll be all right. Um, the next one would be the IBF as well with Jarl Pataya, obviously recently signed him. And then a bit of a strange situation where there was rumours that kind of Pataya uh, was going to have a voluntary with Jordan Thompson. And sort of the terms agreed there, but then Boxer lobbied for Reactor to take the place. Then, then subsequently withdrew from the purse bid. I mean, quite a frustrating period for Matram Boxer. Look, 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 frustrating not for us so much, but obviously it is. But the person we're more concerned about is Jarl Pataya. You know, he's the best cruiserweight out there, we believe, hence why we work, we're working with him. Um, he's had a long delay, wait for Masterneck, didn't happen. Then React Paul was next mandatory, then they pull out the day before the bid. Um, and, you know, the reality is, Boxer, Ben Shalom don't want him fighting on another, another card. It's fair enough, but come out and say that. You're not doing the, you're not doing the right thing for your fighters. Um, but, you know, we've said it enough times. Uh, it's not the first time it's happened, and people will start noticing soon, I'm sure. Definitely. Uh, I do want to move on to kind of one of the fast rising super middleweights in his stable, Diego Pacheco. Is um, Podrick McCor McCrory one of the kind of a, uh, one of the leading uh, po uh, potential opponents for him? Then? He was a suggested name, but I don't think he's likely. We're going to probably have some news on uh, Diego Pacheco tomorrow ahead of uh, Saturday, uh, the fight night. Perfect. Well, I look forward to seeing that one. My final one. Um, I just thought I'd tell you this as well. Ben Davis and T's Billy Joe Saunders could return at 175. I'm just saying, could uh, Craig Spider Richards kind of? make his way into that potential fight. It could be an interesting fight for him, for sure. You know, Craig wants, Craig's been out for a while. He wants to get back in there in the right type of fight. And, you know, Billy, look, it'd be great to see Billy back. He's, 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 um, he's a tremendous fighter. Had a long time out of the ring and it would be great to see him back in. You know, 175 will be interesting. Let's see what happens. Perfect. And Frank, what is your fight of the night for uh, Joshua Hellenius tomorrow? I think there's a load of great fights in there. I think we're going to see some stoppages across the heavyweight fights. I think I'm very excited. I'm actually very excited for Joshua Hellenius. Because the one thing about heavyweight boxing is it, there's always that edge of vulnerability. And that's what makes it great. That's what make, makes people tune in. Um, you've got that. You've got McKean Hergovich. You've got Johnny Fisher's first title fight. You've got uh, Derek Chisora against Gerald Washington. Maisie Rose, Campbell Hatton, George Lidar, Brandon Scott. Stacked top to bottom. Live on the zone. All part of your subscription. Tune in. That is the best answer to that question. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Good to see you. Thank you. You too.